Okay, so I've made a little spring. Um, this is actually made from an old key ring. Uh, it's the coil round that you, that you have on your key ring. Um, because you can't actually buy this bloody spring. Uh, but what what it is, is this is the bit that is your door lock. You know, when you, you're a pull on the door. Um, but this spring fits between this hole and there's a tiny let's see if I can get this in at the right angle can I other this is a very common fault with these Volkswagen locks let's go right in there can you see the other hole there let's see if I can pinpoint it just in there so the spring <laughs> will just drop straight in there without any fuss whatsoever <laughs> in that gap there. Um, I'm not expecting this to be a five minute job, but we'll see how it gets on. But the what you have is the gap for the middle, the circle, is 8 mil. Then these ends should be 5 mil. So I'm expecting to adjust this a little bit. But we'll see how we get on. But I just wanted to show you where you need to put this. Because I've seen the tutorials. And you may be going, well, where does the actual spring fit? Well, this might actually help. This is annoying. Come on. There we go. So as you can see, I've got the first bit in. What I did is I forced this out a little bit. Um, basically I bent that like that just to pull it open a little bit to give me some space once I've finished I'll just clamp it back together again but half the springs in as you can see already I'm just going to do the other half there is no way I can do this <laughs> while holding the phone at the same time so I'll be back okay so we're in there what, if, what you might find easier is using a pair of long long nose pliers and steering it in with a screwdriver to drop it through but as you can see I've got it through here got it through there and let's have a look at our mechanism I think it's working right it, yes. so when it's down it's down when it's up okay truth's in the pudding as you can see it's now latching when that doesn't do that, the problem you've got is pulling this lever wouldn't actually work because it would this would still be locked. For example, if I push it down now, it won't open, you see. And from the outside, it's the same problem. It's got to be able to go to the top mechanism. Once it's at the top, it's fine. Hope you found this tutorial actually useful because I'll tell you what, it saved me a lot of hassles because trying to get hold of one of these old locks is not easy. Um, but also, it's been aware that I could end up with an old lock that could be broken because people don't realise there's a th little spring in there. So now, we're back up and running. This is so nice to put the door back together. I'm so fed up with getting covered in crap off this door. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.